So today we're starting with a little behind the scenes garage sailing. We're up super early at the crack of 8, 10 a.m. That's pretty good. <laughs> I think that's pretty good for yeah, us. Yeah, it's good for you. It's good for you. <laughs> Don, you're always getting up so late and I'm ready. I'm ready like at four in the morning to go yard what? sailing. What? Four in the morning. Four I am in the morning. Yeah, right. super asleep. I was up at four in the morning. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, but yeah, eight o'clock. I mean, I think it's solid. Um, here in Vegas, the stuff doesn't usually start till seven and then some people get there early. We're not we're not that crazy about getting there, you know, a half hour early and trying to I don't know, that's just not our style. But we are going out. There's two community sales today. There's a bunch. There's actually. a bunch. We're going to two to start out the yep. day. And then we're gonna go from there, see how we do. This is gonna be behind the scenes. If you wanna see my regular video, it's gonna be on GoPro. That'll probably be yesterday when you see this. We're just gonna give you our thoughts on the yard sales, maybe show you some of the highlights of what we found, and just maybe just talk generally about yard sales and why they're so much fun. So we are two sales in. I've had a little bit of technical difficulty. I had to delete some footage from my GoPro because I don't have an extra SD card. That's some behind the scenes stuff. So Don went to the first one. You wanna tell him about that first yard sale? Uh I seen fifteen dollar Hallmark <laughs> ornaments, and I'm like, um, yeah, that's usually no. a bad sign. That's that's a sign that you're not at a yard sale, and you're not at a sale technically. You're at a museum exhibition because those will be placed back in the house and sit for another year until they're not sold <laughs> next year. Well, one of the Mickey Mouse ones was thirty dollars. <laughs> I, like, I saw what? that when we drove up. Was that like the little uh, bobblehead thing? No, that didn't even have a pride. I didn't want to ask. Don't after ask. That. But Don't. all those uh, board games in front of the the Hallmark yeah. were ten to twenty dollars a piece for used board games. People they don't think, even know if all the pieces are people there. People think they're sitting on gold bars out here in this community when uh, they're not. Unfortunately, I mean. People just don't, uh, that's the thing you realize when you go yard selling. Some people want to get rid of stuff. A lot of people, most people, and other people don't understand the resale market at all. They don't understand that uh, they may or may not even be able to get some of these prices on eBay. And if they do, you got to ship it, you got to pack it, you got to make sure it's in good condition, you got to deal with returns, which is usually... This looks like it could be a Hobby Lobby uh, yard sale. Is that good or bad? This isn't working, guys. Four, <laughs> four tchotchke owls, like tiny, tiny owls that we would typically pay a dollar a piece for at the most, right? Yeah, Maybe less. A dollar is what How I much do they want for the four? 20. 20 bucks. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? We're going to the next one, guys. We're here. This is not the best footage here, but we'll show you. We're at another one. Wish us luck, guys. Just picked up all these ties for $20 and the tie rack. These are some Low cool. Rise. Cool ties though. Right about that oh one my done. gosh, he just showed me that one <laughs> that one tie that I absolutely love with the lips on it. Kind of like Rolling Stone vibe. Yeah. We looked it up and it had a uh, someone took a best offer on $150 for one the UK, tie. UK plus shipping. Plus yeah, shipping. Plus They're charging shipping on that. I mean, realistically, I don't expect to get that much. I looked at the brand and other cool looking design ties were going for like 25 to 30 but honestly we spent 20 on 100 ties yes so it looks like we and there was two of those lip lip ties there was there was two of them yeah there might have been more Holy crap. um and then there was some other cool ones from that brand and other cool brand i we you know ties don't sell super fast in general those look pretty good though those might sell fast we need to, did we look up we'll the make hundreds tie rack too? and the motorized tie rack rack you just be probably at least 20 bucks yeah 20 too. bucks too so i think i think it, it may take some time but i mean on the very very conservative end we'll make over a hundred but i think it's several hundred dollars or we could be having a uh, fancy tie what we could be option? having a fancy <laughs> tie whatnot guys coming your way but realistically i think i mean like very very conservatively because there were several ties by that brand there should be a hundred dollars but i mean honestly if if it works out the way it looks and it doesn't always work out the way it looks when you first start looking up stuff but it looks like we might be at two, three, maybe even more hundreds of dollars. So uh, yeah, we can get another Starbucks, Don. Yes. This is a fancy one, Don. They had to scan us in. You had to scan your license to even get in this community. So hopefully there's good stuff. Somebody told us to come check this out. Said uh, the prices were pretty good. Had good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Wish us luck. So we found one item. Don found it. One dollar. It's a 1980 Olympic bear. I haven't seen a lot of Olympic stuff from 80 before. Pretty cool for a buck. 
I don't think we can go wrong. You can put that on whatnot. You can put that on eBay. We'll make money. It's Dakin, right? Yep. Love it. Dakin's a good vintage brand, as many of you guys know, to look out for. It's not like the highest end, but they made a lot of plushes back in the day. Uh, well made, um, fairly popular. It's a cool one. Good find. Now we got to get back uh, to the grind. So I just looked up that bear. Now, I was talking to you in there about it being the 1980 Olympics. Mm -hmm. And I think we had two Olympics. It was Lake Placid, the one in the U.S., or, and then there was the one that we boycotted in, in Russia, the Moscow one, the 1980 Olympics. And that is the mascot, Mishka, from the 1980 uh, Olympics in Moscow, the one that oh, the really? USA boycotted. So I did, it's not super rare or anything. It's not worth a ton of money, but it's kind of yeah, interesting it's... history. I didn't realize that that was... I figured it would be from... I could be wrong on my history. It's been a while since I've... I've thought about all this stuff. Three but degrees, people. Three degrees, one of them's history, but I found that really interesting that it is from the Russian, the Moscow Olympics in 1980 that the USA boycotted. So that's kind of interesting, right, Don? Oh yeah. Are you are you super enthralled by that information? I am impressed. Be impressed, guys. <laughs> Be impressed. So we just picked this up at a yard sale. It's a, what is it? It's not a music box, it's a jewelry box, you said, right? Yeah, it's a bed. It's only $2. Somebody made that. It's like homemade. Pretty cool. That's interesting. The weird stuff, the wild stuff you find at yard sales. You got the trimmer in the back, but this is brand new, guys. Howie Long, Raiders Legend, 10 bucks. That's a steal right there. And then I got a couple Raiders shirts, uh, one of them vintage, for like two each. That's not a bad stop. Nothing amazing, but not bad. So we found a whole bunch of yard sales in this community right here. I just went to one that had an Olympus camera for $600 and a brownie in with a case for like 800. Uh, that's so far off. I mean, I know brownies can sometimes be good, the cameras. I've gotten a lot in my days for next to nothing and I've sold them for decor because they didn't work. Um, and I didn't sell them for much, but the prices in this neighborhood are really high. So this community sale is super overpriced. Yeah. I just was talking about it. It's overpriced. And here's the thing. If you're not a reseller, you're doing a sale once every couple years or something like that. It's okay. You don't really understand the, you know, the resale market. Not even just like to sell to resellers so we can flip, but just what you can get locally. It's all about the arbitrage, Don. Oh, yeah. People don't understand arbitrage very well. Sure, your, your golf clubs could be worth $100, $200, but not to random people that are just showing up randomly on a Saturday morning. Maybe if you put them on eBay, maybe if you put them on even a local Craigslist or Facebook and wait for the right buyer. So if you wanna move stuff, and I don't know if a lot of these people even care, you know, if they move this stuff or not. Well, um, who's gonna show up randomly at a yard sale and have $800 to blow on a camera? On a brownie camera. It's not even, first off, it's not even remotely. Somebody, that that is the perfect example of somebody finding one random listing somewhere on eBay or some auction website page or whatever, and then assuming it's worth that much. There's so many variables um, and so many different models, but honestly, like we've gotten brownie cameras in the past and we sell them as decor. Yep. They're cool, people like them, um, but they, we have not seen a lot of value in them. We're not experts on them, you know, cameras or whatnot, but you're definitely not gonna get $800 randomly in a community yard sale. It's very, very, very unlikely, and if you do get the $800, you know, that's Good that's day, kind of a yeah. miracle. <laughs> so the last yard sale was, was kind of a success. You found three of the Winnie the Pooh people, right? Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, the Pooh. and uh, whatever the other one, Eeyore. Yes. You paid 10, but they were all Disney store. And uh, I we got a bunch of those Trevco Elvis Presley ornaments, brand new in the package. Um, we'll put those through whatnot. They should do pretty well. We didn't pay too much for them. We're heading over. Sonny and Mikey Bags of Money are doing a meet and greet at the Boulder Swap Meets, which is like 25 minutes away from us, give or take. We're going to go see them and then probably go eat lunch with them and hang out a little bit. Got to go support the guys, right? right? Yep. So we're going to go see. Hopefully they had a good meet and greet if you guys went. We're going to shop uh, too, though. Yeah, we're going to shop too. We're going to see what kind of deals we can get. We're going to see if we can get a good deal off our friends and the other right. sellers. I see Sonny. I see Sonny and everybody over there. Sonny. Oh, you know, 10 cents? Oh, yeah. 10 cents. Yeah. Yes. Did it. How are you doing? How's the, the booth been so far? The booth has been good, but the people. You got a lot of people showing up yeah, saying hi? That's awesome, man. Saying hi. That's 
what we're all about. We just want to tell people the Boulder Highway Flea Market, it exists. It, it does. Check it's it it's hopping today. It really is. You guys got a lot of people in here for I sure. Say, in the later in the day, they came more. I thought they'd be here earlier, but I um, mean. Everybody just moseys on like at 11 here. Yes. Yeah, everybody was out garage selling, I think. That's where we had a lot. We There was a lot of people out driving. There wasn't great sales today, though. It was, it was pretty... Uh, not good for us. It was so hard to drive here straight and not stop by the garage sales. It's true. That's the hardest thing when you have to, like, that's when I, one of the hardest things when I've done swap meets in the past is not spend my whole time shopping other booths. Back in the day, I would leave Dawn to watch the booth while I would go shop and then vice versa, she would do it. And I know. Now you we, just leave her to list and ship and then go yeah. shopping. Well, she does. Yeah. Yeah. Store. Yeah. It's make, edit thing. my videos. I know. Yep. So that's, hey, that's but on, works. hey, hey. Hey. For him. <laughs>